Hello everyone, welcome to Darren's Print. In this series of biology lessons, we shall discuss about human excretory system. Moving on to the human excretory system. So what do you know about human excretory system? I have already told you the undigested food is excreted through the anus, right? That is, that is part of the digestive system. And the unwanted foods in the, uh, the unwanted, sorry, unwanted, the unwanted materials in the blood or in the body must be removed. So this is done by the human excretory system through kidneys. So this is a pair of kidneys. You can see this is a human excretory system on the picture. Moving on to the human excretory system. As part of cellular respiration, there are lots of gaseous and other forms of waste products produced in the body. These waste products must be removed as they are toxic are harmful to the human body and the excretion is a process of elimination of these waste produced within the body. Various systems in help in excretion are generally kidneys, lungs, skin. We excrete sweat or not through skins. We excrete some waste materials which are present in the eyes. Yes or no? We excrete CO2 through the lungs. We excrete the waste materials of the blood through the kidneys. Now we shall see how the excretion is done through the kidneys. So when the cells, these are, these are toxic in nature, the waste products and hence to be removed from the body. The process of removal of waste produced in the cells is called as excretion. We have already discussed this and the parts involved in it is form the excretory system. So as animal accumulates ammonia, urea, uric acid, carbon dioxide, water and ions like sodium, calcium, chlorine, phosphate, sulphate, etc. either by metabolic activities or other means like excessive ingestion. These substances have to be removed. So what are the products to be removed? These are the products to be removed. U ammonia, urea and uric acid they are the major forms of nitrogenous waste that are excreted by the animals which are to be removed actually. The way in which waste chemicals are removed from the body from the of the animal depends on the availability of water. So higher the water is available, it is easier for the excretion process. And ammonia is a most toxic form and requires larger amount of water for its elimination. Whereas uric acid being the least toxic can be removed within with a minimum loss of water. And the major excretory part in humans is urea, which is excreted through the urine. And the human excretory system, what does it consist of? It consists of a pair of kidneys, that means two kidneys, two ureters, one urinary bladder and one urethra. These are the four components of the human excretory system. So for the waste removal is done by the capillaries in the kidneys. When the blood reaches the two kidneys, it contains both useful and harmful substances. The useful substances are absorbed back into the blood and the wastes are removed along with the addition of water as urine. From the kidneys, the urine goes into the urinary bladder through the tube-like ureters. It is stored in the bladder and it is passed through the urinary opening at the end of a muscular tube called urethra. And an adult human being normally passes 1 to 1.8 liters of urine in 24 hours. And the urine consists of 95 percentage of water this is very important in a urine bottle if you take a urine in 1 liter 95 percentage or 950 ml will be water only and 2.5 percentage will be urea and 2.5 percentage will be other waste products so 95 percentage of the urine is only water remember this it is very important for the examination Moving on to the first part in the human excretory system, kidneys. They are reddish brown, bean shaped, you know right, bean. Situ structure situated in the abdomen, each on the either side of the rib cage. Each kidney of an adult human measures 10 to 12 cm in length, 5 to 7 cm in width, 2 to 3 cm in thickness and with an average weight of 120 to 170 grams that is the weight of average weight of each kidney the right kidney is located below the liver so it is lower than the left okay right kidney is lower than the left kidney this is very important the functional duty of kidney is a nephron it is a functional unit 
of the kidney. Each kidney has around 1 million nephrons that work as tiny filtering units which remove the harmful substances from the blood. Each of the nephrons containing a filter called glomerulus which contains a network of the tiny blood vessels called capillaries. So blood travels to each kidney through renal artery. Once in nephrons, it is filtered by glomerulus then travels down by a tube-like structure called tubule which adjusts the level of salts, water and waste that are excreted in the urine. And filtered blood leaves the kidney through the renal vein and flows back to the heart. So this will be the useful blood. Now the waste from the blood is removed and the continuous blood supply entering the and leaving the kidneys gives the kidney give the kidneys their dark red color okay so because of the continuous movement of the blood only the kidneys are dark red in color and antidiuretic hormone ADH from the pituitary promotes water retention by the kidneys ADH okay and its secretion is regulated by a negative feedback loop involving blood water and salt balances and other functions of kidneys are kidneys also secrete the hum hormone called erythropoietin which stimulates and controls red blood cell production and addition kidneys help the regulation of acid base balance or the ph of the blood and body fluids they also regulate the blood pressure the other parts in excretory system is the ureter. I've already told you there are two, uh, one pair of ureters, that is two ureters. Ureters are muscular ducts that propel urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder. After kidneys, we have the ureters, the pipe-like things. In the human adult, the ureters are 25 to 30 centimeter long. And the third part in the excretory system is one urinary bladder. It is an organ that collects waste excreted by the kidneys, which travel through the ureters and enter the urinary bladder. And it is a hollow muscular and distensible organ and it sits on the pelvic floor. And moving on to the urethra, it is a tube which connects the urinary bladder to the outside of the body to eject the urine. And moving on to the kidney failure, what happens, how kidneys uh, fail? Because of the kidney stones, it is called as nephrolithiasis, because of the calcium oxalate gathering. Kidney stones have oxalates, okay. Minerals in urine form crystals. These are the calcium oxalate stones which may grow large enough to block urine flow. If you drink lesser water or because of higher chemicals in your food, it's considered one of the most painful conditions. Most kidney stones pass on their own because of their smaller size. But some are too large and need to be treated. They must be broken down. And acute renal failure, that is, there are acute and uh, chronic also. Chronic means severe. A sudden worsening in how well your kidneys work. Dehydration, a blockage in the urinary tract, kidney damage can cause acute renal failure, which may be reversible we can do that get back and hypertensive ne nephropathy kidney damage caused by high blood pressure high bp chronic renal failure may even eventually result and kidney cancers is also present renal cell carcinoma is the most common cancer affecting the kidney smoking is the most common cancer of kidney cancer generally people think that smoking will cause only lung cancer but it also causes other cancers also liver cancer kidney cancer etc and how to treat this kidney antibiotics generally kidney infections caused by bacteria are treated with antibiotics often cultures of the blood or urine can help the guide guide the choice of antibiotic therapy nephrostomy a tube catheter is placed to the skin into the kidney urine then drains directly from the kidney bypassing any blockages in urine flow and lithotripsy some kidney stones may be sh shattered into small pieces that can pass in the urine most often lithotripsy is done by a machine that projects ultrasound shock waves through the body and nephrectomy surgery to remove a kidney and you can also be a uh, human can live with one of the kidneys okay clear 
nephrectomy is performed for kidney cancer or severe kidney damage and dialysis when kidneys are not functioning well artificial filtering of the blood is done to replace the work that of damaged kidneys hemodialysis is the most common method is generally used in us or the worldwide okay and hemodialysis a person with complete kidney failure is connected to a both kidneys have failed it's connected to a dialysis machine which filters the blood hemodialysis is done as per week in people and kidney transplantation is also done because both when both kidneys fail it is high time how many days dialysis will be done dialysis cannot be done for more days right and it involves lot of cost also transplanting a kidney to a person with esrd can restore the kidney function a kidney may be transplanted from a living donor deceased organ donor also so hope you have learned enough things about the human excretory system i'll meet you in the next topics thank you